What is cracking, YouTube? It's about midday. We was running around doing some bidding and everything else, and we just decided about 11 o'clock we was gonna come here and cut down this little gum tree. Uh, homeowner's got a beautiful property here, you know, and this this old gum tree, it just kind of makes the property look a little rough, you know. It's an old rotten gum tree, as you can see. It's got some decay running up the front of it there. Um, got a few dead branches and. You just see the beautiful landscape, you know. I love this yard. One of the nicest yards in our town here, so. Got a loud truck there, boy. Woo. But anyways, we're going to bring you guys along. Uh, ain't got much else to say. We'll see you at the top. Thanks for watching. YouTube so we did a little bit of shredding and now we're down you know I dropped a little log flat cut it and just kind of let it land flat in the yard and it left a little bit of a dimple so we're kind of at the point where we feel like we should probably do a little bit of roping to kind of preserve this gentleman's nice yard here so that's where we're at <laughs> That'll be easier on the yard, YouTube. That'll be easier on it. We're gonna try to baby this yard here. Nice yard. Got all these beautiful lawn decorations out here and all these plants and landscaping. I called them lawn decorations. It's landscaping, YouTube. <laughs> so we're gonna rope this log off here next, guys.
put that piece of wood right here under this next branch on the other side of the tree here. Oh, man. <sighs> James said it was a far drag. <laughs> I'll lay it parallel with the road, okay, James? Right, uh, right there. Yeah, now could you get, yeah, just, yeah, towards the truck perhaps. Yeah, straight back, pull it back, yeah. <laughs> That'll work, right there, yeah. Well guys, my limb on the log technique right there didn't really work as planned. We got a little dimple in the yard, you know, and the little dimples up by the, the stump probably won't be a problem. We're going to be grinding these stumps out anyhow. So um, that's probably going to come on later in the winter. Uh, we'll be here to grind them out. But uh, yeah, didn't quite work like I planned. But at the same time, I was kind of watching that primary line too, you know. The idea would have been to put a notch in it, just a shallow notch. Nothing, nothing real tall, but just a shallow. And let it tip and then pop it off. And it probably would have landed, but it went down butt first. So that's that, you know. Yada, yada. Yeah, give me I'm a taking break. lunch. I'll be back at 30. <laughs> Got us another little chunker dude here. We're up here at the top, YouTube, and uh, got them lines over there, got a little property over here, you know, so we're just going to kind of chunk us down, just kind of cut and swing, you know. Gotta protect them nice lawns, YouTube. Gotta take care of them. The customers, they don't like that stuff. Banging up their yards, tearing up their hostas, breaking their small little trees. If a tree guy came to my house and smashed my $350 Japanese maple, <laughs> I'd be pretty mad.
Well, James said that log was heavy. He wasn't using a porter wrap and it kind of ran him down. But I tell you what, it just hit right there around the buttress roots. And that's where we're grinding the stump out, folks. So don't believe it hurt a thing. Got a couple little lawn dart holes, you know. Um, that ain't nothing. Just a couple pieces of dirt can fix, though, YouTube. Okay, so we've got to keep production in mind when you're out, you know, doing your tree work. But you got to keep your customers in mind, too, YouTube, because... They got nice stuff, nice property, nice grass. Like this gentleman, he got nice everything, you know? So you really want to take care of this guy's yard, so. So we're going to untie from here. And we are going to drop this top. And we're probably going to pull this trunk right there on that pile of debris. Kind of save the load a little bit. <laughs> oh i don't know if you've seen that or not gotta be quicker than that gotta be quicker than that <laughs> man no way Yeah, that'd be a question for Rion Rounds, YouTube. That little one-wheeled board thing that he rides around. James just said he's seen one of them on Facebook Reels doing 55 mile an hour. Y'all know anything about that? Let me know. I don't think it's that fast. They got a tire on them like a car. Yeah, it's on the highway, huh? Man, like a cruising on a crotch rocket on shorts, huh? Wow, that's wild. Yeah, see that little one wheel thing pull up next to him on the highway. That's wild. Well, I'll tell you what, YouTube. This is it for this tree. So we're going to catch you down on the ground. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash that like button. Check out our channel, all our other content. We've enjoyed making the video for you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. All right, YouTube. Got the red rope tied up there. Yeah. You know what time it is. Time to cut this tree down. have it YouTube that was a squeaky little squirrely tree brought it over landed right on the brush pile went just as planned so I tell you what when your saw is binding up your bars may be a little bent got burrs on it I don't know what's going on with my bar but you probably noticed it in the video you know and this hinge look at that Ugh. That's just awful, YouTube. It looks awful. But, you know, that's what happens when you saw cutting like crap. So, I've been thinking about doing that switch over to the old Oregon bars and change, you know, the old uh, 
guilty of treason, you know. That speed cut nano, you know, on the 201. Be ripping then, you know what I mean? But uh, think about making that order, Jacob, on old Sappy Supplies, you know. So, you might get an order in there from me. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.